Hi, I am Tommy Collin with the Worship Factor Ministry and welcome to the Worship Minute. Today I want to talk to you about justice and how we are concerned by justice as believers. So, is God involved in justice? Yes, of course he is. And basically that's the main reason why he sent most of the prophets in the Old Testament to Israel, to remind them that they needed to have justice in their society, in their system, and they had basically completely forgotten about that. And God is really a, like a God of justice and he wanted them as his people, he wanted them to have justice in their society. And actually there's a promise, a prophecy in the Old Testament, in the book of Isaiah, that really touches me and I wanted to share with you. It's in Isaiah 42. It says, Behold, my servant whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights, I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry aloud or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break and a faintly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be discouraged until he has established justice in the earth. And that's a beautiful prophecy about Jesus and it often encourages me that to know, okay, God cares about justice and there's this strong prophecy. And first thing, it was uh, made for Israel and God was really calling them to repent and say, hey, I want your society to be a place of justice and you are my people and I really want that. But also, it's really talking about Jesus and one day he will come back on earth and it often touches me to think about it and I pray for that because this world needs so much justice and there are so many injustices in this world, so much injustice. And when I think about this promise, I say, okay, Father, at least at some point, your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And it really comforts me to walk in that direction until that day when Jesus comes back and this world will become a world of justice. Amen. So what was Jesus saying about justice? And actually I took a scripture when Jesus is talking to the Pharisees and he tells them, but woe to you Pharisees, for you tithe mint and rue and every herb and neglect justice and the love of God. This you should have done without neglecting the others. So what Jesus is saying, like the Pharisees, they were following the rules, given the money, and then they were like, okay, the job is done, we're good with God. But Jesus was like, no, this is not what this is about. Like the m most important thing is justice and the love of God. And they actually go together. You have justice because you love and because you care about people. So you want justice for them, like a place where things are just because you care for them. And that's God's heart, he cares. He cares about people and therefore he cares about justice. And another, another scripture that Jesus was, when Jesus was talking to the people actually, and he was saying in Matthew 5, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for justice, for they will be satisfied. So what does it mean to hunger and thirst for justice? And I think the first thing is in our own life is to really like be able to bear that justice in us because Jesus is in us, God is in us and God is justice. So we could bear, we're, we need to be able to bear that justice in a way where we are and to stand for that justice. And the way to do it is through the, what God has given in our lives. Like maybe we are in a, place of power, authority, or we have skills, talents, and we can not only use that to our own benefits, but it becomes um, a tool for justice when we start using this for others. When we are strong, we can protect others, and then we bring justice in their lives. When we educate them, when we empower them, encourage them, and if we are in power, authority, we can be just in what we do, and then we bring justice to this world. So that's really a way to stand for justice in our lives and the way we behave. But what about also the society? And uh, because in many countries, many places, things are not right. There's a lot of injustice in this world. So we could also be concerned with that. God is calling us to be concerned with what is going around us in the society. But 
also there's so many places where we would need to, to make a stand. So we also need to be able to listen to God and to really ask him for his wisdom, the wisdom of his Holy Spirit and to discern what is our calling, our own calling, and to know where to be, what to do and when to do it. So we really need to listen to God for that. But the main thing is really to have this heart of God, like a heart who cares for people. Like if we start to be open to that and to really care for people around us, for justice in society, there's no doubt God will put thoughts and things on our hearts and we will start to know what to do and where to go. So brothers and sisters, I really want to pray for God to help us in those situations and to really have a society where we see justice flourish. So bro Father, I pray for my brothers and sisters, for myself, help us. Help us to be like you, to have your heart, Father, to have your heart of justice because we are part takers. We have been invited in your kingdom. You have given us power, authority, strength, skills. Help us to use them for your justice and to really also be concerned with what's going on around us and to have the wisdom of your spirit to know what to do about that, but to really make a new heart in us, a heart that cares about justice, a heart that cares as you care, as Jesus care. Thank you so much for that and help us to be part of a world that seeks justice, that is concerned for justice and who cares for people around us and justice in this world. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.